bogus and this and that. Well, a lot of people lost to a lot of people in the amateurs, and look what happened in a professional ranking. A lot of people can say, oh, well, Terrence, you lost to this guy, you lost to that guy. Okay, well, all the guys that I lost to in the amateurs compare their career and professional to my career and professional. He can say all those type of things, but when you look at who I fought mm -hmm. and who he fought mm -hmm. and you look at what I've done to him, you know, it's no comparison. Did, did, did uh, you just... I think I pronounced his name right. Did he beat you in the amateurs? Yo, 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 your Guinness Udis? Ugis? Yeah, Udis. yeah. He beat he beat me in the amateurs. And then Earl stopped him in the, the tenth round when when they fought. So Ugis said, "There's no way you can beat Earl if Earl fights you the way he fought him." So does it matter if he beat someone who defeated you? Never. Listen, you talking about a fight that happened when I was eighteen rounds. So it's a lot of things that goes into fighting an amateur fight. That was Terrence Crawford admitting that he did lose to your Dennis Ugas. But he didn't say how many times he lost to your Dennis Ugas. He lost to your Dennis Ugas twice in the amateurs. Hey, yo, what up, you guys? It's your boy Boxing Fanatic. Back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. For the latest and greatest content. Terrence Crawford lost to Udenis Ugas twice in the amateurs. He said that he was about 18 years old. Now, if you do the research and see how old Terrence Crawford is and see how old your Dennis Ugas is, Terrence Crawford is 35, your Dennis Ugas is 36. So if they was 18, so if your Dennis Ugas beat him and the amateurs don't you think that in the pros if he knew how to beat you twice as an 18 year old of course you're going to develop some skills but he still know how you fight so terrence crawford threw up the reference as but he trained properly he had an eight week camp almost like a 10 or a 12 week camp and his dad they was on point with everything for that camp for uh, Earl Spence, right? Earl Spence knocked him down in the fight and, and beat him, right? And then when Earl Spence fought your Dennis Ugas, you seen what Earl Spence did to you, your Dennis Ugas. Messed his eyeball socket up, right? Broke his nose and broke his rib. Had your Dennis Ugas in a hospital. Right? So then, Terrence Crawford, you fast forward five to six years later, Terrence Crawford ended up fighting um, Kell Brooks when he was on his way out. He got rid of Kell Brooks. Kell Brooks came out and said that he was at the top of his game, but knowing he wasn't at the top of his game, he was already on his way out. He had just finished beating American, but Mary Khan was already washed up, okay? And then Terrence Crawford fought Sean Porter. But Sean Porter's dad, Kenny Porter, came out and said, but did Terrence Crawford face your Dennis Ugas? No. Did he face um, Keith Thurman? No. Did he face Danny Garcia? No. Did he face Mikey Garcia? No. So with that being said, Earl Spence have the better resume as a pro and you can say your Dennis Ugas got a better record than him as a pro because your Dennis Ugas fought a lot of people at 147 pounds at the top of the game so if you Dennis Ugas were to fight Earl Spence right now or I mean Terrence Crawford right now I think he'll probably beat Terrence Crawford right now at the top of his game right now but I don't think we'll ever see that because Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford got this, this two-way rematch clause and Terrence Crawford already been saying who he want to fight next after he get rid of Earl Spence, which that is not going to happen. He, th he thinking he going to beat Earl Spence. I don't see that happening. I just see, you know, Earl Spence coming out from the, from the gate and he owned Terrence Crawford 
And before you know it, Terrence Crawford going to be looking at the scorecards. He's going to be looking up at the uh, the time and see that he's behind. And then he's going to get frustrated. And then he's going to try to press the issue. And then that's when he really going to get stopped. But um, Earl Spence, I just think that, you know, he's not the athletic one out of the two. Terrence Crawford, he's more athletic. He's more gifted. Um, but I just think that Earl Spence, his fundamentals, he going to have to fight it out. He's going to have to dog it out. And you're going to see the dog, the real dog, and Earl Spence, where Terrence Crawford is it's going to be too much. It's going to be an onslaught of punches. Body shots, head shots. He's just going to be ripping them. And he's not going to stop. I just think that Earl Spence, he's been wanting this fight for so long. Terrence Crawford had been, you know, ducking this man. And everybody saying that, oh, Earl Spence was ducking him. No. No. And, and Terrence Crawford had already went through something with Bob Aaron. Bob Aaron was basically saying that he lost money with Terrence Crawford and that he's stubborn. And that Terrence Crawford basically, um, he really didn't want to fight Earl Spence. And Earl Spence had been trying to make, they don't even match to uh, Terrence Crawford numbers. Terrence Crawford, he barely doing numbers with like Shakur. But it is what it is. They're going to have a chance to settle it in the ring like men. And Terrence Crawford going to have to back up everything he's saying. He said he's going to have a fish fry. Earl Spence said it's going to be a crawfish boil. It's man down. Scrap season. You know, he, he Moby Dick. He Jamaican. He's smoking on bud. And he said he going to roll him up and smoke him. I believe everything Earl Spence is saying. I just think that, you know, when a person talking a lot, not saying they scared, but I just think there's some intimidation that they got to get out. They got to get it out. And that's just my honest opinion on it. But, yeah, man, um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And, um, and we can, you know, we can chat it up in the comments. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, all right? One love, one life. I'm out. Peace. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.